Alaska. Hello, YouTube. This is Evan from Team Swag. Um, I'm here to post a video about uh, this Foggy Monarch deck I have built, and I would love it if you would comment and uh, try to help me out on this. Uh, so far, I've got just the regular old Froggy Monarch engine, the Substitodes, and Swap Frogs, which all let you thin your deck, allowing you to draw Monarchs quicker, and Swap Frog returning your Monarchs for multiple uses of the same card. Uh, Duke Frogs, which return your Swap Frogs and give you, well, the way I play it gives you uh, many more special summons of your Swap Frogs. Treeborn Frogs, which, well, they're just staples in a Monarch deck. <laughs> Anything running sacks that should run this card. And Ronin Toten, which is ridiculous. I've come to find out recently with the rest of the whole deck, like Triple Caius for removal and amazing control, which is <laughs> aided by three Riza, which are also there for um, exploiting your opponent's bad draws and bad hands and allowing you to continue your control of the board. And you have two Thistalos, which also exploit very highly the bad hands and bad draws of your opponent if they happen to, if you happen to stick them in that situation. You have one Dark Dust Spirit, which allows you to get out of many situations where you are just flat out outnumbered. And there's uh, one Obelisk the Tormentor. This guy is one of my favorite cards in the deck because if you get this three monsters on the board with him in your hand and summon Obelisk against Infernities, they just don't have an answer. Yeah, Trigodia and Gores, which are both ridiculous, and Beast King Barbaros, which blows up every card on your opponent's side of the field if they if you tribute three monsters for it. Uh, to make that easier, along with Obelisk Summon easier, I run three enemy controllers to take your opponent's monsters and tribute them, along with three soul exchanges and one brain control, all to exploit your opponent's uh, monsters for your game. And I run Giant Trunade, Mystical Space Typhoon, and Heavy Storm for uh, back row destruction, allowing you to get free attacks in. Then on my trap lineup, which many people don't run traps in the deck, but I decided to, I'm running two bottomless trap hole, two water, uh, spiritual water art, which I love because it, it, uh, once again continues to be very annoying to your opponent's hand and their uh, drawing capacity. You get to so much information off of this card and this card. Like, honestly, if you open either of these two cards and play them early in the game, it is, you're already putting yourself at a major advantage in the game. And then the single, of course, Torrential Tribute, which is just a staple. All right, so we have a couple of questions for you YouTube viewers. We, amongst the team, have had disputes on whether Raza or Caius is the best monarch. Uh, myself personally find that Raza is just more versatile and very amazing in so many situations. Uh, Caius is, of course, amazing and ridiculous himself, but just, in my opinion, not as good as Ryza. And we want your comments on that. Also, I am not running Battle Faders in my deck um, because I have the traps. Now, 
if I were to run the Battle Faders, am I to subtract every trap in my deck, or do I just take out three to put in the Battle Faders, or do I just not put the Battle Faders in at all? We want to know your opinion and have you debate right here on our page. Alright, YouTube viewers, I'm going to sign out now. Uh, you'll get a new video from us as soon as we can possibly get one up. Later.